Hello, my name is Christian Cano. I'm a product planning engineer. We continue with this video series exploring how to use the Symbio UI. Today we will review the second part about the schedules. We are going to start with some recap about the last video, next how to review a schedule, and next how to edit an existing schedule. Talking about our last video, we view some concepts about the scheduling. We also review what controls this feature applies to, and we review how to create a schedule. How to review a schedule? In the main page about the schedules, we have two options here to review our schedules. The first one shows us the schedules that are active for today. Also, we can move through the days using these arrows. Also, we can click on this button to go back to today. We can review the schedules from this page and also from this page, all the schedules. In this page, we have the name of the schedules, the type of each one, the last controller time, the current control value, the next controller time, the next control value, and the effective dates of the schedule. Please note that this schedule have these effective dates and this schedule doesn't have any end date. From here, we can go to review more details about the schedule. Clicking here, in this page, we can review the resultant events of the schedule. Also, we can move through the days using the arrows and clicking here, we go back to today, if we want. Also, we can review the normal events, the events that we scheduled before, and this is the resultant events. This is very important. This is the, the real schedule that applied to our variable or our group of variables that we, that we define to this schedule apply for. From this same page, we can go to the schedule information to review the name, the type, the dates, the priority of the schedule, and the members of the schedule. From this page, we can go to edit. And here we can edit the name, the effective dates, and also we can edit, we can add or remove different members of the schedule. I'm going to click here in cancel. We can go back to the events and from here we can click in edit and we can edit the events of the schedule. We can add more events, but just the normal events. This is not a page to add exceptions. For example, I can edit or I can add an event on Monday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Just selecting Monday, starting. 8 a.m. Let's put here occupied bypass add and we can do another event starting 2 p.m. unoccupied. This looks a little bit strange, but now when the resultant page is updated, everything is gonna make sense. This is the resultant page. We have an unoccupied moment from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. Next, occupied bypass to 8 a.m. to 2 p.m and then unoccupied. From here, we can go back to the schedules. Another thing that is important to review is, here you can find the schedules that apply for today. If you want to review all the schedules that are configured in the Symbia UI, you have to go here. And if you want to have a look in weeks, it's better if you click here, and start looking 
of the week. It's important to mention also that from any one of the pages, for example, clicking here and edit from this page, I can go to the help file and the help file will show us an instructions about how to, in this case, edit the schedule times. I'm going to go back, clicking here, cancel, and going back to the schedules. In the next session, we are going to review how to create an exceptions and calendars. Thank you for watching this video. For additional information on CMB UI, please stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series and the Equipment Controls Hub page.